Welcome back to the channel. Dane Scott from Dane Scott's Truckers Lounge. Have a real treat for you guys today. I know I say that a lot, but th this is just, I'm in overload here. And uh, our official tour guide today is uh, Lane, Laning Camp, and he is going to show us some killer trucks that belong to uh, Dave Schroyer and his collection of museum here. So stick around town. So let's get this show on the road, shall we? This is, we haven't even started on this yet. It's far from being done. We got it's got to get striped. And yeah, yeah. Some stuff. graphics going. Yeah. Say I saw the old GMC air ride. I never saw one before. I've read about it, but I never saw one. This is just a little nicer than that one we found out. I love that green. Yes. I uh, found some green camel that actually looked bad. Like that. Yeah. The electric camel, they're not exactly mm -hmm. what I was going to see if anybody would like that. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I, I, this is the first one I've ever saw. I read about it. Yeah, I've got uh, my cracker box. Does this got a 671 in it, Turbo? 471. And, uh, of course, I, I repainted some of it the alpine green. It's a pretty yeah. close match, but it's not the same green. Those are they are different. Yeah. I'm not sure what they call that green right there, but they I guess they put it in all their buses and everything. This is my dad's era. This truck that you're standing behind right here was in a movie. What's that? This truck was in a movie. Was it really? Yeah. What movie? This was in Hoffa movie? Um, I just saw, what was the new one they called it? Um, with De Niro and Pesci in it, the latest one. Is, was that one or was older than that? Danny DeVito and Jack Nicholson. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver Fleet okay. production company actually put that on the truck. Yeah, so both these trucks were in the Hoffa movie with Jack Nicholson. Goodness, look at that magnum. <laughs> Wait a minute, I gotta change my drawers. <laughs> the what now? Dodge. Oh my goodness. That big horn. Look at the sleeper on it. Did you guys put that on there? No. 
74, yep. You only made these for a couple of years, right? Yeah. 74 and two, four and five. Three, okay. Is that like a 15 speed or 18 speed in there? 13. Is it 13? Oh my gosh, that Ford's killer. <laughs> Say that again for me, Erlene. That's what this uh, truck looked like when we pulled it out of the field. I mean, none of that was factory. I mean, someone did that. Um, but this is what it originally would have looked like. Wow. It's chain driven. Is it? Yeah, oh, holy cow, it's a huge chain. You guys did all this work? Yeah. Oh my we goodness. We did all this ourselves. Man. Yeah, that just ain't your bicycle chain. This one didn't, you're saying? They normally, when they, uh, the payroll would make these, they didn't have a sleeper on them like this. This is one of very few in the entire world. Holy cow. No air ride seats or anything like that. No. Back in that day, you didn't have that stuff. That's when men were men and boys were boys. That's it, buddy. That is unique. Holy mackerel. Two of them, too. Boy, she's beautiful. Good Lord. Yeah, this is what you call a toy box. Exactly. <laughs> I love the way they, they come out at the bottom and then back in with those yeah. those two. That that is so unique looking. That's just real. It doesn't even say diamond real. Yeah, holy mackerel. Don't let me forget that. Okay. It is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Look at that color. You ain't kidding. You got some of your gauges up above. Uh, I've never even seen that logo before. That was tricky to find. That's what, a Cummins in there? Yeah. I bet she sounds sweet, little straight pipe on her. She's gonna sound good. Here we go. That's my killer cracker box. Yeah. What a little salt that is. That's like a. Mine had the hard boards in it. Oh, okay. 
that's more of a soft material. What year is this one? Uh, I don't know. You can't hardly tell these apart except by the GMC letters on the front. Yeah. Mine's a 61. Probably 671 on this, yep. Look at that X-frame. can't believe how low that is. That is low. Yeah. I don't know if you should feel like sitting in the steering the cracker box and when they air out, the wheels bend in. The air, the air is out of it. Yeah. Okay. So on a, I was going to say, look how low it is. Sixty-two. Okay. Wow! Look at those letters. Those are beautiful. I've never seen the letters that nice. They're always pitted. And the chrome bumper. And that was available factory, right? I had that made. Oh, you had it made? Because I've seen uh, a couple uh, when I did the uh, one on the uh, Berkmeyer trucks. All his had chrome bumpers on them. It could have been a, an I'm option, like, I don't know. Yeah. That is beautiful. I actually have two of them. Maybe. I love these. Yeah. The ones on the, uh, is that the 860 over there? Yeah. Um, it's 800. You have the GMC and logo in some of them. Man, that's beautiful. Yeah, when it airs up, the tires will straighten up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Zen Series Fords too. So much design. I mean, all the truck uh, display stuff will take yeah. me a while. I'm definitely going to have to make a return I've visit. Got a 371 on that. 371. 371. I didn't even know they made the. Big tower. 371. Yeah. 471. 53. Yep. Front of it here. There's the cannonball.
What's uh, in the uh, cannonball there, Dave? Is that 671? Oh, really? She's got it coming, folks. <laughs> yeah. Get you on here if you don't mind. Look at these fenders. I don't think I've ever seen a fender set up like that. That is. Rick, did you see the fenders on this uh, Chevy over here? Yeah. That's incredible. Console 69 Smiling Zipper, that's cool. Don't see many of these magnums anymore, neither. What a truck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right there.
Better take some time on this Mac. My Mac guys will be upset with me. Wow, that's Mac screen right there. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Just scan across all these small trucks. H model 352. Yep. And they're looking for somebody that can tweak a 3208. 3408. 3408. Or even work on fuel pumps on them. Fuel pumps, okay. We'll throw it out there, see if anybody bites.
So I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Um, there's still a lot to see and too much for one video. So I put all the uh, museum uh, displays, the trucks, and all the memorabilia and toy trucks and all that in this video. And then the next video will show all the donor trucks outside, trucks that have yet to be restored. And from my understanding, from what Lane told me, they're all for sale. So I kind of think he must be out of room. <laughs> so, um, but he is restoring a 9500 uh, when we went there. I'll show you some of the, uh, the shop area. And um, there again, a very killer 1985 or 86 Brigadier that was a glider kit that was never sold. There's no holes drilled in the frame. I mean, this, it's just unreal. It's, it's just a preserved brand new truck um, along with some cabs and crates and just some stuff that'll blow your mind. So uh, that's going to be in the next video. So uh, stick around town and make sure you like and subscribe. And hey, keep the hammer down, safe and sound.